Hi, we are Jack and Gab, an American couple who quit our jobs and booked a one-way plane ticket to travel the world. We are currently traveling in the Baltics, and we're lucky enough to find ourselves in the beautiful city of Riga, Latvia for two weeks. One of the first things we noticed about Riga was the thriving nightlife scene. It's always a party in Riga, and there seems to be something for everyone. From the really great spots... That was one of the coolest bars I think we've been to in... Ever. ...to the not-so-great spots... But it smells like vomit tonight. Riga has everything. Rock and roll clubs, festive Cuban cafes, Belgian beer bars, and everything in between. I just love Belgian beer. So come along with us to experience what happens in Riga after the sun goes down. What's up guys and welcome back to Riga Latvia. We've been here for about a week and a half now and it's been absolutely awesome. And since tonight is Saturday night and we didn't want to sit alone in our Airbnb, we decided to do a nightlife tour tonight and show you guys around the scene here. Yeah, tonight we're hanging out in Old Town, which is right in the heart of Riga. It's the happening part, it's the exciting part, that's where all the cool pubs and bars are. We're not really club people, so if you're here for a partying, clubbing, high energy video like that, this is not going to be it, but we will be taking you to some of the coolest spots in Old Town. Yeah, so we're gonna do a cool themed cocktail bar, a great place for beer, the first rock and roll bar here. So there's gonna be some awesome options and we are headed to our first stop now. Okay, so our first stop of the night is a themed cocktail bar. It's called Cuba Cafe and the vibes in this place are awesome. It's like kind of rustic vibes. They've got great music playing and we ordered a Cuba Libre from our first drink. And I think you said it's just like rum and coke or something. It's kind of similar to that. So uh, I'm going to try. Ooh, yeah, that's delicious. I used to drink Roman Cokes all the time in college. I don't think I've had one since, but... Is it strong? It's good, yeah. Cubans like their drinks strong. My kind of people. As I was looking around at this place, and it is totally Cuban. They've got a Che Guevara documentary going on over there. There's a Che Guevara poster. It's just really, really Cuban. I love it. That one sounds way too quick. That's a good drink. This place is awesome. But well, let's head to the next spot. All right, we have left Cuba Cafe, which I gotta say, that's a pretty cool place to start out this nightlife tour. They make a really good Cuba Libre, very tasty, but we're heading off to our next spot now, which is gonna be the cool little hole in the wall spot. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be cozy and casual, and we do apologize if you had a hard time hearing us in that last place, because they really had the Cuban music pumping. It was fun, I love Cuban music. We got a craft cider. It smells really good. It smells like kind of Granny Smith apples, but I'm really liking this place. It's nice and cozy, kind of a living room vibe. They've got some good music on, and they have a sweet deal where cocktails are two for one from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So kind of regretting not going with a cocktail, but I think this is still gonna be delicious. I am very upset with Jack that we're not doing the two cocktail deal, but I do love his cider, so let's give it a try. This is really good. So All is forgiven. <laughs> Alright guys, not gonna lie to ya, that place was a little bit dead. Yeah, apparently it gets super busy at like 1 o'clock in the morning because they stay open till 4 or 5 in the morning. Yeah, they, it was just basically us and a family playing board games in there. So if you're gonna go to that spot, which is a cool spot, go a little bit later. Uh, but we're hungry now, so we are going to go get some food. Plate and some 
some extra fries, and all in all, it came out to five euros forty-eight, which is an amazing deal. Okay, let's see. Okay, that food was hella good. They did mess up our entire order, but what they gave us was freaking awesome. So all is forgiven. And um, now that we have had some food in our bellies, we are ready to continue drinking and experiencing the nightlife here in Riga. So we are headed to a spot that specializes in probably my favorite drink on the entire planet. Alright guys, not only did our beer come out, but we also got upgraded to a table that is not in the corner of the restaurant, so that was good news. I want to try this beer. It looks very frosty cold, and it's light colored, so it's Belgian, and uh, alright, let's try it. I just love Belgian beer. Name a country that does beer better than Belgium, I dare you. Guys, this place is super cool. I'm glad we stopped in here. We've been passing by it every day since we've been in Riga, and I'm just really happy that we finally got to come in here. That place kicked butt. Totally lived up to my expectations. Awesome Belgian beer selection, and just a good atmosphere. They had so much beer. There were like 20 or 30 different beers on tap, and then the bottle pages were I don't know, there had to be 20 or 30 pages of bottles. Next up, we are heading to one of the best spots to come if you are a backpacker or a traveler in Riga. It's called the Aussie Backpackers Club. And it should be a super cool spot. The bottom floor is a bar and the top floor is a hostel. So there should be a pretty good crowd there. I know, I think everybody is welcome, not just Aussies, but maybe we should start practicing our Aussie accent. <laughs> Good eye, mate. <laughs> crikey. Oh, crikey. This is awesome. Great music, really cheap beer, and just like three floors, I think, of places to hang out. They have beer pong going on downstairs. Up here, people are chilling and watching soccer, but like, really cool spot. Perfect for travelers. Nostravi. What kind of beer did you get? Delta. Uh, it was like one of the cheapest beers they had. It was two euros. Do you know what, where it's from? Presumably here, but I have no idea. I chose it because it was cheap. We are right in front of the bathroom. <laughs> There's like the only spots left. Yeah, it's like everyone that's coming up to the bathroom is just coming right behind us and it's just... We're downwind. Yeah. We are downwind of the bathroom, people. This is not the spot. Well, that place was pretty cool, you guys. It was definitely like a traveler's bar and they had a lot of people there. It was a little grungy. They had some rock and music on and soccer games on, so cool place to hang out. Yeah, if you want to meet other travelers, if you want a cheap drink, head there. It's a great spot. And the next place we're heading to is the first rock and roll bar in all of Riga. I think it should be a good time. Let's go check it out. So that place was really cool and I'm sure on most nights it's a fun place to go clubbing but it smells like vomit tonight. It smelled like straight up puke in there so didn't really want to stick around and hang out there yeah. for too long so. Plus it was kind of empty which I don't know if that's because of the puke smell, I'm assuming it is. Um, so we're trying to find another place now. This is my 
favorite place that we've been to all night just because it kind of feels like a secret somehow because we have the floor is kind of laid out so it's like I don't know, you still kind of get some privacy at your table, but um, very cool spot. Very glad somebody vomited at the last spot because we never would have found this place. Google Translate says that the name of this place is Own a Diamond. But the picture is of a grandma with a record, so I don't think that's right. My guess is it's like grandma's house or grandma DJ or something. I don't know, they'll comment below if you're Latvian and let us know what it means. Guys, that was one of the coolest bars I think we've been to in... Ever. Yeah, in months. Yeah, it's a really cool spot. The music was so amazing. They had such a good DJ on. We found ourselves going, hey Siri, what song <laughs> is this? Like every song, because they were all so good. Yeah, it was great. The guy was just playing a bunch of 90s American hip hop. And... Mm -hmm. If you like 90s American hip hop, then you have to go to that place because the music is prime. And lots of tasty drinks. Tasty drinks, and the service was wonderful. Too. Yeah, they were on top of it. All around um, favorite bar of the night. If you're a really big night owl, Riga seems to be the place for you. Like if you stay out till five o'clock in the morning drinking, come to Riga. Yeah, all the places open really late. And there's good late night snacks too, as you could see from the Turkish food place. Guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like this video, please share it, do whatever with it. But thank you so much for watching. Which way do we go? I think we gotta go this way. But KFC is that way. <laughs> <laughs> I see your point. Feed me fried chicken, sir. Yeah, maybe we should get snacks. I'm hungry. I know we just had Turkish food not too long ago, but I'm hungry. Do you think Remy's still open? Yeah, let's go get sushi at the grocery store. Honey, faster! <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. My feet hurt, so Jack is scaring me. I'm slipping! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>